In this video, I'm going to be discussing transformation of functions. Now, kind of like the transformers over here, transformation of functions is when we take some function, some equation, and we transform it in some way. Now, it's really important, at least what we're going to be looking at, is this particular form, a times f of x minus h plus k. And with this, we can do most every transformation possible. Now, functions can be transformed by changing a, h, and k. Now, in algebra 1, that's all the transformations we do. There is one more uh, letter we could add. But we're not going to mess with it right now. Now, when we're talking about being transformed, there are three transformations that we'll be discussing. So three main ideas that we're going to be looking at. So the first transformation is something called a translation. Now, a translation is when the graph is slid horizontally or vertically. So one, one thing uh, people remember is we just say that this is a slide. So sometimes people forget the word translation and just use the word slide. So I have an example over here where I start with this particular object. So I have a triangle here. And I see that it is slid over one, two units and up one, two, three, four units. And I could do that everywhere. So from this point to this point, over one, two, up one, two, three, four. So it's slid over two, up four. Let's do the other one. This is over two, one, two, up one, two, three, four. And that's a translation. A translation is simply a slide, whether it is vertical or horizontal. So a question I'm going to ask is, given the following diagram, determine which tr transformations were done to f of x to get g of x. So I see here that f of x, my first function is this red one, and g of x is the blue one. So I'm looking to see it, what transformation is happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this little point right here and see how much has it moved over. So this is up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. And so I see that this is a translation. So we can say something like f of x was translated translated 1, 2, 3, 4 units up 4 units up and 1 unit right. Now if I want to check and make sure that I translated, what I can do is I can pick another point. So I see here, okay, this point right here is on a low coordinate grid, so I can count this nicely. So what I'm looking for is if I go up 4 over 1, will there be another point on g of x? So let's see, if I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1, I see yes, I end up on g of x as well. And you can do that at any number of points. So if I tried this one right here, 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. Okay, so it follows the pattern. I go up 4 over 1. So this is an example of a translation. Now the second one we're going to look at is something called a dilation. A dilation is when a graph is stretched, a.k.a. made wider or bigger, or comp compressed made narrower or smaller. And uh, the best way to think about this is your eye. So when your pupil dilates, it could either get really, really big or it could get really, really small depending on how much light is present in the room you're in. And so right here is an example of a dilation. Now we're not going to do a lot of calculations as far as what's called the scale factor. Uh, the scale factor is basically how much is it shrunk by or how much is it expanded by. So if it's doubled in size, the scale factor would be 2. We're not going to do that. We're just going to try and recognize is there a dilation. That's really all we're looking for. So looking at this particular example, again, I have f of x is the red one and g of x is the small one. 
And so I'm looking to see which transformation is happening. And so I can first of all say for certain with certainty that there is no translation. I see here that those little points are on the same spot, so it's not being slid. But I do see that g of x is smaller, is more narrow than f of x. So this is an example of a dilation. So we can say f of x is, we'll say, compressed. to get g of x. And I'm just going to put in brackets here, dilation. That way I'm saying what transformation is actually happening. It's actually a dilation, and in this particular example it's being compressed. So we talked about transformation, we talked about dilation. There's one more we're going to talk about, and that is this thing called a reflection. Now, a reflection is when a graph is flipped over a line. So, for example, here I have this triangle. Let's say this is my original. So I have my triangle here. Let me just mark these points. And I can see that this graph is reflected. It is mirrored over the y-axis. I can see that this is directly flipped. If I were to fold this graph in half or fold it on top of itself, this little triangle will line up with that triangle. So this is the reflection. It's reflected across the y-axis. So let's take a look at another example. So given the following diagram, determine which transformations were done to f of x to get g of x. So again, f of x is the red one and g of x is the blue one. So let's start by looking at transformation. So I'm trying to decide, okay, is this a translation? No, it's not slid because again, we see our little points line up with each other. Next, I'm looking to see, is it a dilation? Is one wider than the other? Well, in this case, they're not, and I can tell you why. <clears throat> if I'm looking at the slope, this is up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one. And this one is down one over one, down one over one, down one over one. And so since they have basically the same steepness, even though one is going up, one is going down, we can kind of see that this forms a line and this forms a line. It's not a dilation. So really the only possibility is this is a reflection. So f of x was reflected Oops, reflected. Now the question is, what was it reflected across? Well, if I'm looking for where the mirror is, my mirror would be right here. So f of x was reflected across the x axis. This simply means that this is where I flipped it. If I folded this graph along the x axis, these two graphs would line up on themselves. So that is a beginning tutorial on how to identify transformations, identify a translation, a dilation, and a reflection. We'll do more with some graphs here in a little bit.